you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out the riff to Come As You Are. There's a little bit more complexity to this song if you're going to learn the whole thing. We're learning it as a kind of an exercise on picking and fingering and getting notes kind of sitting on the string the right way. It's a fantastic all-time classic riff anyway, but we're not going to be going through all of the parts in the song, just mainly focusing on the riff. So we're going to start by playing the open thicker string twice, both down strums. We're going to use down picks all of the way through here. Then first finger in the first fret of the thicker string, second finger on the second fret of the thicker string. Worth noting that this is actually beat one. So we have one, two, three, and four, and one. Okay, so when we start looking at the rhythm count as well, it's quite kind of important to know the rhythm here. One, two, three, and four, and one. Two and three and four and one. So now we're going from the second fret. We play open A, that's the open fifth string, back to the second fret on the th thicker string, open A string, that's open fifth string. Then we play twice on the, th the second fret of the thicker string again. Then first finger and the first fret of the thicker string to the open. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... Here we've got second finger down in the second fret of the fifth string. One, and playing the thicker string, second fret on the fifth string, one and two and three and rhythmically that might feel a little bit difficult, one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Now, some of you might find the count and counting the rhythm there a little bit difficult. It kind of is a little bit difficult, to be honest. And for this kind of riff at this stage on your journey, I kind of recommend more just listening to the original recording. It's a lot easier to learn by listening to the original track and getting the sound of the do 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 ba do da do 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 da do do in your ears rather than trying to think two, three, and four, and one. It's going to be struggle enough to be picking the right string, getting the fingers there, getting the note stringing out clearly. I found this a real difficult one left-handed. I found it difficult to move the pick over between the thicker string and the fifth string to keep a, a, a you know stop the pick getting tangled up in the strings, keeping the fingers on the tips enough. So that's one of the things with this is that you have to use the finger tips here on the second finger to let those notes ring out together. It's not so easy, but it's a really, really great riff. Like I said, for the, the practicing of the picking, crossing the strings, the position of the fingers, getting used to playing a riff around a little bit. Um, I don't recommend that you go there. The chords, if you wanted to add in a chord, if you happen to be a bit more advanced guitar player, you're kind of relearning the guitar, you could add in here this F sharp power chord, which is the second fret of the thicker string and the fourth fret of the fifth string. And it goes to A. Maria. That's the, where the chorus goes. Uh, I know I said I wasn't going to do the whole song, but that's where we get for that little chorus. The actual thing's a little bit faster. I didn't get it up to speed when I was practicing it after a week, and it's not like it's one of those riffs where you need to have completely nailed this riff before you move on to the next lesson. It's kind of like a riff exercise. That's how to think of this. It's a fun thing to be doing. It's, it's good for your picking. It's good for your practice. But don't feel like you have to nail this one before you're going to move on to the next lesson.